This looks weird, doesn't it? I think it does. Someone did a comment the other day saying that I don't own other claws. So... I, I, I do. I just don't wear it often. Welcome today, boys, to another video on the channel. Today, let's get stuck into a video idea that I've had for a couple of weeks now, but just never got to it. And that is diving deep into the world of footballer merch websites. And some of these are awful. Some of these are actually all right. Some are actually really good. But some of us, if you got one thing guaranteed, it's awful, awful prices. And I mean diabolical pricing for some of this. Like, honestly, it's stupid. Most of it is like a Primark hoodie or like a Primark t-shirt. And they put like a logo on. It's like, hey, that'd be 70 pounds, please. If you guys do enjoy, smash a like button and also subscribe if you're new. And let's go. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of... You're saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usurvive.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISIT at checkout to get a discount. So, a couple of days ago, I did a video about going into the weirdest footballer websites in terms of their actual just generic websites, which are quite weird and far and few between here. And in there, we looked at one or two merch websites. We'll start with them because you've already seen them. But if you didn't see that video, then this is where we're going to start off with. And of course, where is the best place? But jlings.com. Yes, I've, I've never seen a single person on this planet where jlings merchandise but here we are work the jlings.com it's actually quite you know it's a nice website really it's a really nice website a uh, decent modeling and you know the logo itself for jlings actually isn't that bad it's not really an awful logo it makes sense why he's been doing this the entire time that symbol is to try to promote his own merchandise it's a big shame that he doesn't play football so that he can't keep doing this after every goal that's why he keeps doing this to promote his merch range but he doesn't play football so that's a main concern but yeah jlings.com and they've got you know a good collection you got a w21 collection new arrivals jlings originals um and the price is interesting. It's not as bad as what you think it probably could be. For a hoodie, it's around 45 quid. For women's dance floor joggers, 38 quid with a massive chainlings. No one's buying it. I'm sorry. Like, I don't get why people do this. I don't get why they do this. Why do you have a massive text? This was a hundred quid. Jungle Black Panther. They, they sell some ridiculous things here. Who's buying this? The beauty of you. The beauty of you is how you wear who you are. What? What does that even mean? That sounds like something that like a I don't know, a high school girl, she watches one, like, motivational video on YouTube and then gets really, like, inspired. I still love this. I, I, I still love this. Um, guys, if you get 10,000 likes on this video, I'll buy this for 30 quid and wear it to my next video, okay? Be so good, they can't ignore you. It's motivational, really, for 45 pounds is a bargain. Okay, next up, here we go. How can we not go into the man himself, Akina, 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 Fenwar, boys? Beast Mode. I didn't actually know that he sold this. I thought he just wore it. Like, it was just his thing. But no, he actually sells this. And let's see. I've not actually seen the prices, actually. I forgot to see it, actually. Um, let's see how much it costs for a normal um, T-shirt. Okay, T-shirt, please be quite cheap, lads. Okay, so Beast Mode. You want the classic red Beast Mode original, right? Please be quite... Okay, £20. £20... Is not as bad. I wouldn't pay £20 for that, but it could be a lot worse. Latest arrival, so we got, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I love, I love that idea. There's a gap in the market for that, man, with a box of shorts called Beast Mode on. Oh, my God, imagine. <laughs> why does this look like it doesn't, like, fit correctly? Why, why does, like, the dimensions of it look off? I don't know, maybe it's just the person, I guess, but it looks weird to me. Yes, my guy representing tracksuit. Go on, lad. Beast. There you go. I mean, 40 pounds. It's not that bad price, is it? It's not that bad price. For a hoodie here, 35 quid. I mean, yeah, that is a, indeed a hoodie. It, it's all right. Hashtag no Fuchs given. Yes, this is Christian Fuchs. He's got his own clothing line. I quite like it. Like, it's very off um, what you would expect to be. He's got spirits, got 
Caribbean rum. He's got his own phone covers of Christine Fuchs. And he's got his own merch here as well. Now, it is a bit on the expensive side, though. I, I can't lie, mate. You're kind of taking the piss. This is his hoodie. Uh, no Fuchs given. Okay, it's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. Bit of an interesting pattern. However, it's $125. Now, you're taking a piss here, mate. Just a little bit. £85 for a Blacks? What? No, you aren't. No, mate. You gotta be $85 for that. Christian, bro. Are you actually taking the piss? No way is someone paying £85 for that. Wait! Is that just a sweatshirt? Excuse me. Wait. Black, slim fit black sweatpants... $85? How of all people is Christian Fuchs charging this much for pants? Oh my god, all of it is $85. Like, all of this is $85. All of it. Um, a t-shirt is $60. A white t-shirt, literally a white t-shirt with just a skull logo onto it is $60. I kind of do not get what is happening here. Given what is this man? <laughs> this is... Is that his dad? I feel like they just ran out of like... They needed a guy just to wear the shirt. So he just thought, hey, yeah, I'll do it. $40. You've got to be taking the force lots. Perfect gift ideas. Not for 40 quid, lad. £24. My guy is charging a phone case for £24. <laughs> This one, I guarantee you already know about this company, Baller. I guarantee you already know about Baller. You've probably seen this for like years. Now, this is actually made by footballers, and it, I, I guess it would make sense, but I never, and but I didn't actually know that. But it's made by Gregory Van der Weel, and a Dutch footballer. This is his company. I think also have two other people as well, but this is mainly by um, Gregory Van der Weel. Of course, they use their links to the footballers that they knew to promote it, and I mean. I've not seen a lot of baller in the last couple of uh, last couple of months, but I know that it's a it's a very large sized company. To be fair to them now, however, is it worth it? Is it really worth the value? So let's just get like a standard baller T-shirt. But I think at one time even I was looking at baller like clothing thing. Ah, you know what? I actually quite like it. So just get generic baller T-shirt, and they are charging you seventy five euros for this T-shirt. I mean. It's a bit steep, isn't it? It's a bit steep for, for literally a t-shirt with some text on it, to be fair. Of course, that's the realm of designer. And, like, is this... I would kind of see this as more in the, the kind of designer industry now, to be fair. Because they've done quite well for themselves, Baller, as a company. I, I, I like to think, anyway. 80 euros for a towel. Okay. Uh, a tote bag is 30. A two-pack of socks is 30 euros as well. A leather... Luggage tag is 95 euro. A luggage tag is almost 100 euro. A baller toiletry kit with the smallest logo of all human history is 400 euro. Yes! Here we go. When it comes to the best of the best footballer merch, when I think of the best, I think of Rio Ferdinand, bro, and his merch five. The thing is, the only place that you can get this is actually at Sports Direct, which is, um, which is, it, it kind of makes sense, and it's very, very cheap. Like, it's like £10 uh, for a hoodie, it's £14. When you look at it, is it good? I mean... Not really. Like, it looks... That's what it looks like. Does it look that good? Ah. Uh, it looks just cheap, in it. But that's kind of what it is. It's meant to be that kind of, like, you know, budget range and um, clothing. I don't think it's exactly took off. I d I've never seen a single person wearing five clothing. And I do think that it, it could be potential, but I just don't think Sports Direct is is the way to go. Here we go. This is the daddy. Lionel Messi. Messi? does do quite a lot in terms of his merch. Onto the Messi website, go into shop all, and let's see how much is Messi. My guy's been working. My guy has been charging quite a lot. I mean, look at him, man. He's he's the model for all of these. 
for all these is a model, and he charges quite a lot of money for this as well. You know, 120 euros for a hooded jacket, 100 euros for this jacket as well. That guy's got the rugby sleeve shirt range, which is also like any 85 euros as well. A pocket long sleeve, no one's wearing that, pal. 60. Hey, Messi again! 10% off of your first purchase. Thank you so much, man. I do greatly appreciate it. Messi signature two pocket plaid shirt. $40 sold out. My guy cannot get enough of his plaid shirt. So $30 for these? For literally a messy golden ball graphic? I mean, if you're messy, man, you could probably just sell literally anything. Anything, and it would sell. We've got beach towels. Please be quite cheap. 28 for a towel. Interesting. Uh, the 10 messy towels indeed sold out, um, which is... Interesting. Goat. My guy sells goat towels. Sells a lot of merch. Like a lot of it. More than I would think he really would. Yes, he want the 45 euro rug. I want to see this in person. Yes, let's go. We could buy a colorful lion area rug. Please show me your sample. Let's go. Oh, boom. That's what I want. 45. 45. 40. I saw this in the last video as well. Memphis Depay here with his range, which is, um, you know, 60 euros for this black shirt. It's actually not that bad in this. Like, it kind of, I can see the appeal of it as well. My, my guy's also got his own headphones and it's not showing anymore. It, it, it was there a couple of days ago, but no longer. There's, sadly, I can't get any more um, MDC um, original headphones for, three, for 300 euros. But you know what, man? It's not the worst logo I've ever seen. Um, it's 70 euros, which again, isn't the worst pricing. So this last time, you know, 60 euro for what is essentially just, you know, a normal jumper, but with the stitch on. I mean, it's pretty standard, isn't it? How can we forget Zlatan Ibrahimovic's range, the A to Z range? You may have not seen this in a long time. That's because, sadly, they've no longer been a thing since 2018. It's quite upsetting. They no longer, they shut down for good. I think they've apparently lost like 18 million in like, a year or something, so they just said, you know what, how about no? It was marketed quite highly, and it doesn't look like it was that bad in terms of, you know, marketing. It looked quite decent, actually. So, yeah, it's a quite surprise to see this not really work out, but that is the end of the, the Zlatan Ibrahimovic range. So there you go, boys, that is Footballer's Merch website. Tell me down below how good or how bad you think these were. I don't know if these were actually that bad in reality. Like, I think the worst one was the Christian Fuchs one. I don't, I don't, I don't know how he's charging those prices. Christ almighty.